Okay, so post time for race number seven. And the post time clock is in. In behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate and back upstairs to the race call. Here's Vance Cameron. Southfield striker, Connor's Magic. Proud of you today, Meraki. KT's affliction. No fool McKinley. Top of the stretch. They're approaching a start. Off strides the five, KT's affliction. There they go, off and pacing. Proud of you today, we'll lead them out. Meraki is going with him. On the rail third is Southfield Striker. Coming up fourth on the outside is No Fool McKinley. Then on the turn fifth is Connor's Magic. And at the back, KT's affliction trails to the back stretch. They go, and Meraki for Daryl McLean will take over the lead. Proud of you today, races from second. No Fool McKinley moved up third. Southfield Striker races for it. Then in fifth it's Connor's Magic and the trailer that is KT's Affliction. They arrived at the opening quarter led by Meraki in a comfortable 31 and 2. Proud of you today races from second. No fool McKinley third. That is Southfield Striker in fourth. Connor's Magic has fifth and the trailer that's KT's affliction on the run in the backfield. Approaching the opening half mile, this compact field, they are well strung out at the opening half, led by Meraki. Proud of you today, second, no fool McKinley, third. Up into fourth, that's Connor's Magic. Back to fifth is Southfield Striker. KT's Affliction, the trailer, the half mile in 101. And four, three eights left to go. Meraki is the leader. Racing from second, proud of you today. No fool McKinley, third. Racing up into fourth is Connor's Magic. Southfield Striker has dropped back fifth. Down the trailer, KT's Affliction, three quarters goes to Meraki clear by two in one 31 and two proud of you today is second no fool McKinley third Connor's magic fourth and there's an eighth of a mile left to go and it's Meraki to bring them on home proud of you today second no fool McKinley on the outside third fourth Connor's magic deep stretch now Meraki needs the line Meraki just hangs on for Darryl McLean. No fool McKinley was there on the end of it. Proud of you today, third. 2-0, one and two. Okay, here comes the slow-mo for race number seven from Red Shores in Charlottetown. Tonight, tight finish at the wire. We thought Meraki off the qualifier would be on the point here for Daryl McLean. Exactly what happened here tonight. Shoots off the wings, 31-2. and two. They set up shop on the point, and they are the leaders. 101-4, and four, still Meraki. Proud of you today, sitting second. No fool McKinley, who I liked here tonight. He raced well. He was sitting third. They went up the backside, 131-2, and two, and they're going to decide it in deep stretch. Pressure's on Meraki. He's in the middle. You can see skimming the cones as a three proud of you today but the six no fool McKinley you'll see him coming into your picture here in just a moment trust me he's coming here late he's going to try to track down Meraki but Meraki stands firm in the end and fends them off going all the way for Daryl McLean to get that first lifetime win the six no fool McKinley he'll get in for a second yeah there he is storming on the end of it but just couldn't quite get there as Meraki fends him off second is no fool McKinley and third proud of you today Meraki and McLean in the winner's circle next
Here comes Meraki into the seventh race winner's circle, pacing Black Elding three by Malicious off the Western Paradise Dam Malabrigo, owned by Daryl and Gordon McLean of Winslow. Daryl and Gordon McLean, Megan McDonald, and Natasha Campbell are the breeders of the colt. He's trained and driven to victory by Daryl McLean, pacing to a maiden record tonight of 201 and two fifths. Meraki in the seventh. The management and staff at Red Shores want your experience to be fun and entertaining. That is why we offer information on how our games work.